Dale Johnson had scheduled a routine visit to his family doctor, unaware that his life was about to change. There had been something that had been bothering me for a few months over the winter, and that was just every so often I'd be short of breath, and it'd just be one or two gasps, and it was done with, uh, just to the point where it was annoying me. So while I was there, it probably wouldn't have been something that I had have gone in for, but since I was there, I just kind of questioned Dr. Corney about it, and he took a blood test, and he listened to my heart, and he says, all right, we'll get some tests started. Uh, I got a call from the QEH that I had been set up for an appointment to come in to start these tests. So through the afternoon, I got a call from my family doctor, uh, Dr. Corney would like to see you first thing in the morning. I said, okay. So he, uh, I went in Thursday morning, and he advised me that I had a thoracic aortic aneurysm, which was causing my breathing issues. And uh, from then, it was very quick, a week, I got a call from the, from the doctor that uh, I was scheduled for Halifax for uh, heart surgery. And uh, I was advised that my aneurysm was over six centimeters, which I guess is quite large. And because of the size of it, it was actually stretching my aortic valve. And so I would have to get a synthetic mesh to replace my aorta and a uh, soft tissue valve. Uh, because the aneurysm was so big, it actually moved my heart. So once they get in there fixing everything, I ended up with a tear in the coronary artery. So they ended up having to fix that. So four hour surgery actually ended up being eight and a half hours. Johnson believes that the high level of care at the QEH prevented what could have been a really scary situation. The simplest little things, like my little breathing issue, and it ended up, my whole world was upside down. Because with the aneurysms, there's really no signs. Um, the only thing was, it was stretching my valve enough that it was causing my breathing issue. But there's no pain, no discomfort with aneurysms. People, people can present with different heart issues with, with a, a, a quite an array of different symptoms. So chest pain we think about in heart attacks, uh, breathlessness and heart failure and sometimes heart blockages, rhythm problems, valve issues you can present with breathlessness or, or, or passing out. Family history is so important, especially in cardiology. Um, there's rhythm issues and heart pumping function issues that, cause, that are related to family history, but also in aortic aneurysms and a, both aortic valve disease as well. Um, so especially if, if people are young and otherwise healthy found to have these things, we often suggest that their family, first degree family members be screened. My siblings all have to be checked. My kids, uh, once they reach 18, 20 years old, they'll be getting in and getting checked. It is hereditary, it's through my dad's side. So it's, it's just something that it's, I couldn't have prevented it. It's just in the DNA. If you, if you don't have the doctors here and you don't have the equipment, it's simple things can end up being the biggest. If you don't have the equipment to find this stuff, you know, and you're having the little issues, it ends up being a big problem. 